uploaded to YouTube purportedly shows the aftermath of a horrific attack on a Sunni mosque northeast of Baghdad. Police say gunmen stormed the mosque during Friday prayers and opened fire, killing at least 70 people. The killings reminiscent of attacks during the height of Iraq's brutal sectarian war in 2006 and 7. With violence levels soaring over the past year and sectarian tensions on the rise, this attack has increased fears of a cycle of retaliation that could reignite all-out sectarian bloodshed. Sunni politicians blame the attack on Shia militias, announcing their withdrawal from government formation talks until the perpetrators are arrested. Iraq's main Shia political parties have also joined the calls for an immediate investigation. Salim al jabouri a moderate Sunni and the country's parliament speaker, attempted to calm tensions on Saturday. Today, a committee was sent to investigate this incident. The committee contains a number of parliament members, along with security authorities, and a 48-hour deadline was set to reach results for this investigation of this heinous crime and massacre in Musab bin Omar Mosque. We are awaiting these results, and those results will be clear and public for everybody. This was promised by the Ministry of Interior. But Sunnis have little trust in the Shia-led government and its promises. Over the past few years, Sunni Arabs have felt marginalized by what they say are the sectarian policies of Prime Minister Nur al-Maliki and persecuted. Loaded to YouTube purportedly shows the aftermath of a horrific attack on a Sunni mosque northeast of Baghdad. Police say gunmen stormed the mosque during Friday prayers and opened fire killing at least 70 people. The killings reminiscent of attacks during the height of Iraq's brutal sectarian war in 2006 and 7. With violence levels soaring over the past year and sectarian tensions on the rise, this attack has increased fears of a cycle of retaliation that could reignite all-out sectarian bloodshed. Sunni politicians blame the attack on Shia militias announcing their withdrawal from government formation talks until the perpetrators are arrested. Iraq's main Shia political parties have also joined the calls for an immediate investigation. Salim al jabouri a moderate Sunni and the country's parliament speaker, attempted to calm tensions on Saturday. Today, a committee was sent to investigate this incident. The committee contains a number of parliament